Hello everyone, welcome back. And today in UPPG, I'm going to go over a very important constraint called the rigid body constraint. So to start, I'll hit Shift A, add a cube, just move this up, press S so I'll scale it down, and hit Control A and apply it to scale. Okay, so now. I want another cube that I can link this cube to. So I'll hit Shift D, Y, and we'll go to this cube in the properties. Over here is the constraint window. So add object constraint. Click rigid body joint. Now the first thing you want to do is go and target select the object you want it to link to. I'm going to make sure these are both rigid body objects with box collusion bounds. Collision bounds. Here we go. And well we can actually test that right now. Well actually first we also want to show the dis Pivot, display the pivot point. So this is the point at which you will pivot. So I'm going to move this over along the oh no 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 the Y. I'll move it right between these two cubes. Now I'll hit P and play the game. Not entirely sure what's going on. Move this one. Okay, actually, Control Z. I'll just select both of these and rotate. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we can see that it's um, sort of linked. It's rather linked, it is. To make things more interesting, I'll actually add a static cube just on the bottom over here. Here we go. That's nice. Now there are more types of um, pivot types, and there's also breaking. So this is how much force you want it to take before it breaks the link. That one was a pretty low value, so it broke really easily. Let's see if 10. Okay, it's still held. How about five? Yup. Okay, I'm gonna turn off these breaking. You can also do dis linked collusion, which will disable collusion between linked bodies if you have multiple of them. Just to disable the collusion between them. So now they won't collide with each other. But I want them to collide with each other, so. I'm going to leave that unchecked. I'll do hinge. So the hinge will only really allow it to go in a certain angle. So let's go angle X. Maybe if you want to put a limit on it, you can give it max and minimum angle degrees. See? Nice. And you still have these useful breaking and linked collusion options. Now do cone twist. Cone twist, well, okay, still some more, but you can also give limits to every angle. You can give like the X 90, you can only turn in this many degrees. Z, let's just only allow 10 along Z. Just play that. Okay. I'll try linked collusion and now see what happens. Okay, yep, they seem to be constrained. I can see to be constrained. Okay, now that's great. Let's go to the last one. Generic six. Doff or something. 
so now we have other options over here. We also have limits for translation, apparently. And we also have angle limits. I'm just going to try these. Mm, one, one. Ah, uh, yes, that appears to be some distance between them or something. Let me put up two between the X. Um, move over here. Hmm. I'll add some to the Z as well. <laughs> Interesting. I'll just done check these. You also have the axis here. I, I think it's going to rotate our axis point. Our pivot. If we do this. And this leaves translation. Okay, I'm going to change this back to ball. Um, get rid of the angles. And that's great. I'm actually going to um, switch to local. Shift D. Y. Oh, it didn't work. Let's see. I'll grab this one. Make it link to cube. Okay, now I can see this, and we have multiple links. Nice. Okay, that's basically it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to avoid missing any future videos that I might create. Bye.